Utility software is a basic software included with operating systems to perform common tasks. These tasks help to manage and maintain the computer. Examples of utility software is disk fragmentation, backup programs, encryption, system monitoring, disk cleanup, accessibility options, antivirus software, system updates, and compression software. Let's go over this important vocabulary. This increases access speed by rearranging files to occupy contiguous storage locations. Disk defragmentation minimizes head travel. It also reduces system startup times and there is no recycling bin or files in use. It is less than 4 kilobytes and there is no encrypted files. Backup programs are used to compress and backup important files. The software can be used to create an exact duplicate of a file volume on another volume, such as an external hard drive disk. Additionally, most backup software can also restore data that has been backed up in the event of a system failure or loss. Encryption is a way to secure files, folders, and disks in the event of theft or loss of the computer. Encryption is usually done when a file is transferred from one location to another across a certain network. Data is first encoded at source and sent or transmitted to the destination. From here is decoded where both the sender and the receiver must use the same program to recrypt or decrypt. The data has to pass an algorithm which helps to convert the data to encrypted data called ciphertext. To make it easier to understand, it's basically the scrambling of data into weird characters and decryption that turns them back into the original data. System monitoring monitors system resources, such as processor and memory usage, and optimizes them to improve performance. Disk cleanup is used to free up disk space. The targets that are used are the compression of old files, temporary internet files, temporary window files, downloaded program files, recycle bin, unused application, setup log files, and offline files. Accessibility relates to a wide range of ITGS scenarios, including in the home, office, and the classroom. In each case, accessibility options can help include users who might otherwise be excluded. A child with dyslexia, for example, can use text-to-speech options on a computer to assist with classroom reading. High contrast screen settings can enable an office worker to use a word processor despite eyesight problems. A severe disabled user can use a head wand to touch keys or switches to communicate. In cases of extreme mobility disabilities, computers can be the only method of communication for a user. An antivirus is protective software designed to defend the computer against malicious software. This software includes viruses, trojans, keyloggers, hijackers, dialers, and other code that vandalizes or steals the computer contents. In order to be an effective defense, the antivirus software needs to run in the background at all times and should be kept updated so it recognizes new versions of this software. Virus signatures are patterns that are matched by the antivirus software within communication layers. Most viruses do have patterns, but some don't. That is when the intelligent engine in the antivirus software takes over. Most antivirus software will offer to delete or contain the malicious code. The antivirus program runs in the random access memory of a computer. All communication from that computer is programmed to be monitored by the antivirus software. Thus, when malicious code is detected, it is stopped before it can damage the computer. This updates the operating system with the latest security and performance patches released by the software's creators. Compression is the process of encoding information using fewer bits than original representation would use. In other words, it is called as source coding or bit rate reduction. We do this mainly to get free spaces in the hard disk. We also do it to save the time when the file is required to be sent to somewhere else. There are two types of compression, lossy and lossless. Lossy image compression is used in digital cameras. 
It's used to increase storage capacities with minimal de degradation of picture quality. Lossless is the best compressor for probabilistic models.